Hello, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I'm going to decorate my baby shower. Um, my baby shower theme is Enchanted Forest, so there's going to be a lot of lights, a lot of candles, a lot of wood, um, roses, leaves, and all that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we'll start off with the centerpieces that are going to be on the tables. They're going to be the mason jars here. And I'm going to put two on each end of the table. And yeah, that's what they're going to look like. This is kind of just like a sloppy copy because we haven't made them yet. But it's going to look similar to this. And I will show you guys where I bought everything. So we'll start off with everything I got from Amazon. Because a lot of this is from Amazon, Michaels, one item from Walmart. So let's start off with the Amazon order. Um, I got these kind of wooden plates. They're like a coaster size from Amazon. It comes in a pack of 14 and I just picked up like four packs um, just to have enough. So yeah, I think these are very woodland themed and very cute. And you know, the guests can take these home. So I got those on Amazon. I got, so the theme here is very, a lot of wood, a lot of lights, dusty pink, mauve pink, and gold. So that's what most of this is going to look like. So I picked these up off of Amazon as well. They're just tiny little acorns. Um, some are big and some are smaller. They don't have a scent. They kind of just smell like plastic. It comes in a pack of 24. And I just picked up one bag, so these I'm just going to lay it out at the dessert table, the bar table, the snack table, or just like around to give it like that forest kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, I thought these were very cute. I got these LED tea lights from Amazon. They come in a pack of how many? 12. So I picked up like five packs because these I'll be laying them around the tables as well um, and just anywhere to give that light effect so these actually f look real to me because they kind of like flicker so yeah let's turn that off what else did I pick up from Amazon oh the lights so I picked these lights up at Amazon and these come in a pack of, I don't know how many are in here honestly, 12. There's 12 in each pack so I bought enough for each mason jar and I also got my mason jars from Amazon. So you just tear that, then it lights up. And you kind of just untwist it and it's just like very long string and then you can put it in there however I just put it in like a circular motion but you could use this for anything like you can lay this out anywhere just make sure to hide the little handle here but yeah these are very cute and also very cheap on Amazon I will go ahead and link everything that I got down in the description box just in case you guys are interested in any of these um, so yeah. Okay, so I got one thing from Walmart and it is this chalkboard error sign. Arrow sign. Why can't I say that right? So it comes with one, two, three, four signs and you can write anything you want on them. And I picked up this chalk marker in gold just to go along with it. So for one, I think I'm gonna do like cocktails, dessert table for another one. Um I don't know I still got to think about the other two but these can be laid out however so yeah and I think the pop of gold is gonna look just very nice and then next we'll jump into everything I got from Michaels so I got these leaves from Michaels comes in a pack of 24 I got so many of these I don't know why but I actually had these for my wedding and we didn't use them they're supposed to be 
wrapped around like your fork and your knife but that's not how we're going to use them i don't know exactly how we're going to use them but i know we're going to lay them out somehow and probably just cut the stem from it so yeah i have a lot of packs of these um i also got the moss from michael's i got like 10 packs of these and then this like in the end here and it kind of hides the tab or whatever you want to call this from the lights so and then this since we have a lot of leftover we'll probably put some around tables and stuff just to again give it that forest theme and that was very inexpensive I think those were like three dollars per pack The flowers that I have here, I also got them at Michael's. I got, and we actually got very lucky because they only had like a couple things in their spring area and everything was on clearance. It was 50% off since we are in fall now. And these were the only pink options that they had. It's like they knew because they have like a dusty pink and then a mauve. So we just picked up four stems and we're just gonna cut each flower individually and put two in each jar so yeah these are very cute and these were eight dollars so we paid four for each okay so i also picked these up at marshall's have these and these were for my wedding so i'm gonna be reusing them um i forgot the prices on these but i have a lot and these we're gonna lay out at the dessert table the bar area um, just anywhere. We're not quite sure yet, but have all of those. I have a lot of these that you guys saw in the mason jars, and they're already cut up for us. And then I bought this. I think this will go on the dessert table as well. And then it has that light dusty pink. We have so much of the burlap garland. We have like 20 packs of these. I'm not sure if we're going to use them, but we have them just in case. Along with a lot of this string that we're going to use for the mason jars. So all of this was from Michael's. And then we have rose petals. White rose petals, a couple packs of these, and then pink rose petals. So these will also lay out just everywhere. And we have these in white, we have them in pink, and then like a darker pink. So now we'll move on to all of the lights. All of the lights we picked up at Walmart. We have a couple packs of these. These go wrapped around your tree. We have like two trees that we're going to wrap them around. Um, and they are solar powered. So we have to put them on I think tomorrow because the sun charges them which is pretty cool. So yeah, the trees are going to be lit up. And we also picked a couple packs of these at Walmart. They're just solar LED mason jar string lights and we're gonna put them all over the backyard. So this is what it looks like. And they have the LED lights inside so all of these are gonna be lit up, like I said, all over the backyard. We're going to put this bar sign up because we are going to have a bar area. These also light up. This we purchased at Target. I think it was like $25. So we have that. Okay, so this I also picked up at Walmart. We have two of these and these are also going to be in the bar area. We might do like a cranberry one and then a pineapple one. So yeah, and they have like that wood feel. To it as well so I think it goes good with the theme and for
for the dessert table, we just have these plain white plates that I got at Target. And these were like $1.99. So we might put cookies on here, donuts, or the cake pops, or I'm not sure yet. And this is one of my favorites. I got this at Ross. I think it still has the price. $18.99. So here we ordered some cookies, some butterfly cookies, and we're just going to assemble them like all over this board. And it has like the gold as well. So we also picked the bamboo lollipop sticks. We got these at Walmart. It comes in a pack of 30 and my sister's going to make Rice Krispies. So we're just going to stick it into a Rice Krispie. And for the snack table, all of this is from Walmart. For the snack table, we got these treat bags where we're going to put like hot Cheetos and like other types of chips in here. And they're just clear bags with gold. So they go with the theme. And we got some plastic cups. And in here, we're just going to put like churros because we're going to have a snack table with like just kind of junk food, hot cheetos, churros. Um, we're going to have like chamoy, lemon, tapatio, all that in one table. <laughs> so can't wait. So now I'm going to share with you guys all the games that we're going to be playing. I have seven listed. We still need to think of two more. Um, so the first game, and I think this is like a traditional one, is the can cross your legs or your arms. And that's what the little pins are for. So every guest will get a pin and like I said, you can't cross your legs or your hands or anything like that. If somebody sees you doing it, then they steal your pin. And at the end of the night, whoever collects the most pins wins the prize. And people are very competitive. Like I know some people just like watch you the whole entire time to steal your pins. <laughs> so that game is really fun. And then we have the guess the baby food and that's why we got so many of these so for this game you just go with a partner and one of them is whoever's going to be eating is going to be blindfolded and someone's going to be feeding you the food and you have to finish your whole can and then you have to guess what it was and whoever guesses it right and finishes it first wins the prize i never participate in these because i just don't like baby food <laughs> The next game is guess the measurement so you just pass this along to everybody and they have to guess like how big your stomach is and then you just measure it and whoever gets it exact or you know whoever's the closest wins the prize and then these you can just get at the dollar store another game that we're gonna have is the drink up baby bottles we still need to buy the baby bottles but this one's like a men's game so you just fill up the baby bottle with whatever you're drinking you know and whoever finishes their drink first wins and I know that one's hard because the baby bottles have like a tiny little hole so that's another game that we're gonna have and the blindfold cotton swabs so everyone gets blindfolded and then you put a bowl on the top of your head you put all the cotton swabs in front of you and you get like a spatula or a spoon and then your goal is to try to collect as many um, cotton balls as you can that one's really funny because you know sometimes it shows people and they think they're like collecting so many and it's just like one going in the bowl so that's also a traditional game and the cucumber pass so for that, you'll just need a cucumber and you make a circle with the females and then you put the cucumber in between your legs and somebody is playing music in the background and you're just passing the cucumber along. And then once the music stops, whoever has that cucumber has to get out. Kind of like musical chairs, but different. All right, and then 
The last skein that we have here are the write down baby items. So everyone's gonna get a piece of paper and a pen. And we just have a lot of pens in here. And I think you'll time it for like a minute and then you're supposed to write on your paper as many baby items as you can um, in one minute and whoever has the most that are accurate wins the prize. And this one I love because I won this game last time on my sister's baby shower. <laughs> I had a lot and I'm proud of myself because I don't even have any kids and there was a lot of moms there and I still beat the moms. You got so. Alan nephews? <laughs> so yeah, that one's my favorite. Okay, so another game that we're going to have is the how many you can carry in your hand. So we'll just have a bunch of these and whoever collects the most pins um, or whatever these are called in their hand wins. So, and I think for this one you can't, what can't you do? So for this one you just can't drop, as soon as you drop one you're done. So you just keep collecting, keep collecting, and it gets really difficult towards the end. So, yeah. How many you can grab in your hand. And that is it for all of the games. I know we're going to do like a final game, but we haven't decided on what that's going to be yet. But it's going to be male versus female, and it's going to be like a really big prize. So we still need to come up with that. So far we have eight games and like nine prizes, so we'll be good. So that was all for this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of all over the place. Um, you should see my room right now. There's stuff just laying everywhere. I am so excited to kind of just put it together. Um, I feel like we have been talking about my baby shower for so long and it's finally here in two, is it two days? Three days. Um, so I can't wait to put everything together and just to see how it turns out and I will be taking a lot of pictures and videos of the event. I want it to be perfect and special because this is my first baby and I just want it to be perfect for her. So we will be uh, showing a clip of how we make these mason jars um, just so you can see like in greater detail. I think they're very simple, very easy to make, and very affordable. So yeah, that is all for today. Give this video a like if you liked it, and thank you so much for watching. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the mason jars. So what you'll need is a pack of mason jars, the LED screen lights, You'll need string, your moss, a couple packs of these. You'll need these white flowers and all of the roses and stuff. Like I said, I got at Michael's. So you'll need a lot of these. You'll need the flowers that you're going to be cutting. You'll need scissors. Preferably ones that are stronger than these because these are a struggle to cut. So you'll need that. And then lastly, you'll need your little wood coasters. Okay. Okay, so you're going to want to start off with your mason jar and some string. And here you're just going to want to take your string and wrap it all around the mason jar. Here you just see me tightening it and kind of pushing it up to the top because I really just wanted the string at the rim of the jar and keep tightening it 
make sure you leave some room for your bow that you're going to create. So I left enough string on both ends for a bow and now I'm going to create my bow. And I am not the craftiest person. I think I've struggled on this part the most. But there you have it. Just mess around with it until you get it however you like. Okay, so that looks good to me. Just tightening it again. And now we're gonna wanna get our LED string lights. We're gonna turn it on. And we want the end there, the tab, to go on the bottom of the mason jar. And we wanna hide it with our moss. So just put in a little bit of moss. I like to put in just a little bit because I like the lights to show. So if you fill your jar up all the way, the lights aren't going to show as much. So I just put just enough to hide the little tab, which I see here. You can kind of still see the tab, but then you just put in all of your lights. I do it in a circular motion and I just tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. And it's okay if it's sloppy because you just want the lights everywhere inside the jar. You can move the lights around however you like. Now we're going to grab our white flowers. And we're going to measure them just to make sure they're the same height. And it does help if you pre-cut all of these. So we pre-cut all of the flowers and roses and all that. I do recommend you use pliers though because we started off using scissors, just regular scissors, and it was such a struggle to cut because um, these flowers have wire, so the pliers are a must have. And here I'm just putting one white flower on each end. just have to play around with it now I'm gonna grab a mauve rose stem and then a light pink one so we're gonna put one in the front and one in the back I started off putting this one here in the back but I wanted it in the front so I moved it to the front and then this one we'll keep in the back and we just spread them out however and there you go nice and simple okay and then just fix them however you like your preference um, this is what it looks like from the front and then the back Then you just want to grab your coaster and put it at the bottom. Just like that. Okay, so there you go. That is your mason jar centerpiece. Very nice and simple to do. Um, it only took me about two minutes. So everything that I got here was from Michaels and Amazon. 
so. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs>